how do we know that there is consciousness in deep sleep this is an important question in vedanta why do we feel that there is no consciousness in deep sleep you know where this question stems from it stems from an inadequate separation of consciousness and mind we think we have understood what consciousness is but we are still thinking about the mind that's why when the mind shuts down there's no thoughts feelings no ego no activity of the mind we think there's no consciousness because we still have not separated consciousness adequately from the mind in our understanding when the mind is active we feel its consciousness is there when and when we are awake and in this waking world we feel its conscious yeah, i mean we are conscious very clearly even dreams we feel we are conscious because we are aware of dreams but when the mind shuts down we are not aware of anything no objects come before us just a blankness we think there is no consciousness it's just blank what's blank the object of your experience is blank blankness or or the absence of objects that is what is being experienced now why is it so difficult to uh, to uh, acknowledge this because at the root there is this inadequate separation of consciousness and mind now why is it so important to appreciate this that there is consciousness in deep sleep in our waking state you don't have to fall asleep to admit it you have to uh, wake in in our waking state if we admit that there is if we can clearly grasp that there is consciousness even when i have fallen asleep the mind has fallen asleep then we'll realize what consciousness is then the separation between mind and consciousness will be clear in our understanding at least we will see that i am not the body i am not mind also what awareness is in itself the pure subject a clarity about that will dawn that's why consciousness in deep sleep is an important subject in advaita vedanta now to deal with the particular objection so an ancient objection that vedanta says yes there is consciousness in deep sleep because after waking up i felt felt that i had experienced complete peace i did not know anything i i rested peacefully so that is an experience if there is an experience there must must have been consciousness so one objection is no why should that be an experience it could be an inference i was not awake therefore i guess i was sleeping that's what he says i was not i didn't wake up so i guess i slept deeply i didn't wake up so i was not awake i was not even dreaming that also has to be added therefore i guess i slept deeply this is an inference on two counts this is wrong this has to be rejected on two counts one is on the grounds of experience another one is on the grounds of logic what is the grounds of experience for rejecting this inference when we wake up and we look back look back means think about our just preceding experience of sleeping uh, do we perform this kind of an inference so i fell asleep at such and such time <laughs> and i had some dreams and then i did not have any dreams i was not awake therefore i must have been in deep sleep do we perform that kind of a logical ex- do we have that experience of um, performing uh, an inference going through an exercise of logic just after waking up no phenomenologically what is phenomenology uh, tracking our experience how did it feel think about it how did it feel did it feel like you are doing an exercise in logic or did it feel uh, did it feel like that uh, um, i was not awake i was not dreaming i guess i must have been sleeping therefore i was asleep did you do that or did you feel i had deep sleep i slept you know like we in english i slept like a log i didn't know anything in bengali they say ghumiye kada i slept like mud <laughs> why would you say that because you have to imagine it's not like new york it's uh, 100 degrees in the shade and 100% humidity so if you fall asleep deeply in that kind of humidity you'll you'll feel like mud when you wake up <laughs> so it's notice it's language which you find in every culture of the world which means deep sleep is something a phenomenon known to everybody in the world and all human beings we experience this i mean I, even animals would experience it so we that we slept deeply it's a phenomenological experience uh, it's, it's it's something that we directly subjectively experience not logical exercise okay 
on the grounds of experience we reject that it was an inference it's actually an experience so what if it's an experience there must have been consciousness how can you have an experience without consciousness what experienced it who experienced this experience of deep sleep so there must have been consciousness all right second on logical grounds also we, we must uh, reject it why inference works this way in ancient indian logic the inference worked this way there is smoke on the hill therefore i infer there is fire on the hill see i can see smoke but i can't see fire how did you infer you saw smoke how did you infer there is fire because in my kitchen and at various times i have seen smoke and fire together wherever i saw smoke there was fire so now i'm seeing smoke see wherever i saw smoke i saw fire too together i saw both now i am seeing only smoke it's so far away but i am inferring there is uh, fire or a more um, a better example here in manhattan you don't see smoke on a hill too often here but you see smoke in the distant um, and the fire trucks are there immediately within minutes how do they know they don't see the fire maybe but they see smoke pouring out of the top uh, floors of a of a high rise and so the fire trucks rush there because they know where there is smoke there is fire how do they know that because they have seen both together smoke smoke and fire this is in um, nyaya language is called vyapti english is even worse invariable concomitants just it means the two things go together all right so what now you are carrying out an inference about deep sleep what is what are what inference are you carrying out um in deep sleep you are inferring there was deep sleep and therefore there was no consciousness deep sleep there was no consciousness that's what you're trying to infer um that uh, or you go a little further back you said that i was not awake therefore i was in deep sleep that part we have dismissed uh, experience part so th- you take this up the deep sleep there is no consciousness but this logic will not work why so what is the logic in this that w- in deep sleep there is no consciousness because that um, there is no experience in deep sleep i did not experience anything therefore there is no consciousness Uh, um, the sign of consciousness is that there must be some kind of experience this is a blankness but this logic will not work it has to be rejected on logical grounds why because where did you experience both together to say absence of experience means that there is no consciousness then you must have experienced sometime there is no experience and there is no consciousness together you must have experienced then only you can say look here is a case just like smoke on the hill here is a case deep sleep no experience therefore there must be no consciousness in deep sleep how do you know that in some case earlier you must have seen no experience and no consciousness together but if you have seen no experience and no consciousness together if you have experienced it there must have been consciousness <laughs> you cannot establish that we have the invariable concomitants going together no experience no consciousness you cannot exp- uh, you cannot establish that without consciousness so the inference fails what 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 comes of it what's the upshot in deep sleep there is consciousness notice waking dreaming deep sleep are not uh, dependent on consciousness waking dreaming deep sleep are the states of the mind they are not states of consciousness the states of the mind mind is awake using instruments of knowledge the sense organs contacting a world waking mind has fallen asleep um, and dreaming within itself without contacting an uh, external world dreaming mind totally ceases to operate deep sleep consciousness illumining the wake, waking mind illumining the dreaming mind illumining the sleeping mind waking mind experience of sense objects and of course thoughts dreaming mind no experience of sense objects consciousness reveals activities of the mind sleeping mind consciousness reveals the dormant state of the mind blank consciousness is one and the same 